today is to keep your prints at two minimum if you're starting out you don't want to do too much and for it to get out of hand so let's start with two prints and when you're using those two prints you have to ensure that they are within the same color family or that there are colors in one piece that is also in the other so if you're seeing a little bit close up hopefully you're also still seeing the pants right so in this shirt, you're seeing notes of orange, of greens, of blues, and of that same like um, beige color in my top. And this is stripe. So stripe with some extra pattern like embedded in the fabric. So in the pants, we have quite a few of the very same color is that we have some green tones to match back the green in this we have some beige tones which matches back in both of the pieces we have some orange tones that matches back in the orange in both pieces so those are running throughout the outfit which can look smart <laughs> So I'm loving this outfit, it's very bold, even though the colors aren't very bright. It is a nice piece when you want to stand out and still not looking loud in the types of colors that you are wearing. So again, we're using two patterns and we're using the same color palette throughout the same both pieces. Let me know what you think about this one. So this takes us to our next outfit and I love this dress so much. This dress I purchased from Forever 21 perhaps six or so years ago and yeah you couldn't pay to get this dress from me. I love it so much. The prints are large and it is just a perfect combination of browns. It is done so well and I just I just adore this piece. This sums me up in a dress, really. So this is a way that you can pair the same patterns. And on our feet, we have the leopard print at the top. And then at the back on the heel, we have zebra print. So we have zebra and leopard um, together. And then the dress is in a larger print in leopard however if you'd like to take another step into mixing patterns because this is quite too subtle then consider this this skirt is from zara and the shoe are from eagle eagle official we're going to put this over our dress and change the scope of things now when you're using two of the same prints, so leopard and leopard, stripes and stripe, plaid and plaid, the one that has a larger print is the center piece. The smaller print is the neutral piece. Look what we do now. All 
All right, so we have changed the entire outfit. So we have the smaller print at the bottom it has more of the browns, the darker chocolate browns and black. And the top has some more of a beige light browns and black. And I think this looks absolutely beautiful together. And because both fabrics are light in weight and not hot in at all, because this is a, a chiffon and it's very roomy. And then this is a satin and it's also very roomy. So there's a lot of playfulness about the fabric. The colors are excellent together, if you ask me. Let me come a little closer so you can see. This is beautiful. So we're still sticking to the rules, which are stick to two patterns and ensure that it's within the same color family. And we also added a third rule, which is do the same print. So leopard on leopard. This is my favorite so far. I'm going to see which other one will tickle my fancy. All right, so this brings us to our next outfit and this is more of a casual type of fit and the top is from H&M and so is the bottom. So again, we're sticking with two patterns and the same color scheme. You're seeing that I have blues, some gold and some browns. Here. Oh, this would match my silk skirt. Oh, perfect. Because of the browns and blues specifically, which is also found in here, it pulls the two pieces together. So, again, whichever one has the larger pattern is the main focus piece, and then this is considered the neutral because it has because it has a final, smaller pattern. And it works, it works so well. And this, of all of the outfits that I've shown, this is the only one that I've worn on more than, more than three occasions. This is the only probably pattern stuff I've worn out because otherwise I'm not that, um, I don't wear a lot of patterns or florals or stuff like that. But I might have to change that because, you know, we have to be expressing ourselves in our clothing and just trying to have fun since the year is a little dry. Let's say that. So this is the outfit and I've paired this outfit with my gold Tory Burch um, sandal just to pick up again with the gold in the satin top. And I think these paired, these are paired effortlessly, actually. I really do love this outfit. And I'm going to wear it until I cannot wear it anymore. On to the next. So this is another beautiful piece. And oh, this is just so good. <laughs> this is so good. This would be perfect for a summer wedding, actually. And it's just a pairing of a shirt and a skirt. I got this top from Zara on a sale two years ago. I was going about my business. I realized that Zara was having a sale on the mall, and I went home with three bags of Zara sale items. And let me tell you, hmm, it was so good. This top originally was $40 and I got it for $9.99 and it is of satin material. Just awesome. All right, so this top is a peplum top. This is a part of the top so you can tie it and it flares a little. I personally do not like peplum tops. I don't think they flatter my figure. So I would never wear it as is. I'm going to always have it tucked into something. And this skirt is a watercolored accordion, accordion skirt from H&M. And they are paired beautifully. 
if you're seeing, well, I suspect you're seeing clearly, you can see that this um, green, what type of green is like an emerald mix and like a, it's, it's dark green, it's a little emerald and it's a little pastel as well, which goes really, really well with this green in the skirt. We have this burnt orange that goes really well with this orange part of the skirt. We have some browns. Just a perfect combination. Of course, the major color is cream and that is also in the skirt as well. Oh my God, I got so excited that I didn't even put um, shoe on, but I would definitely just wear this with a perfect heel so that nothing distracts from this beautiful, feminine floral print outfit. I love this. Ah, I love this. This is the first time pairing them together and I'm so surprised that they work so well. So, uh, this is what it looks like again. Just perfect for a wedding affair in the summer. It is so breezy. It is so clean, it is so classic. And the floral prints, this is how I like to wear floral. I like large prints. Otherwise, I'll wear it, but it's, I'm not a big fan. I think this is just a beautiful, beautiful ensemble. I'm going to show you what they look like um, apart. So you can see the genius in putting this together. <laughs> This here is the skirt. This is the top. Of course, let let's hope it would be a complete flop. But this is what the top looks like. And the skirt. But when it's tucked in, oh, I could also tuck it in this way if I want to do a little midriff action. If I'm trying not to make it a semi or formal type of outfit. I could do I could do something like this which is a little bit of a bohemian style either way it's a win it's a win it's a win what do you think you like this one or am I just hyping myself up I don't know I think it's a it's a gem yes and like when I'm up in some way but you're so beautiful so if I'm fat, if you call me fat, I understand. But that's it, nowhere else. <laughs> On to the next. All right guys, so I'm doing this one as a little, a little bonus. Just in case you have a, something a little extra that you want to put with this type of outfit, I'm encouraging you to do so safely. <laughs> The rule that we're discussing is pairing black and white. Guys, you know that black and white are meant for each other. It's like night and day. As you know, have been worn together forever. These shades are just awesome. And I think I did a fair job. You can let me know. I take constructive criticism. I did a fair job by putting these two together. This pants is, this is a herringbone pants in plaid, black and white plaid, and I love this pants. It's one of those classic pieces, and it's from Forever 21. I've had it for probably over five years now, and it's still doing extremely well in my closet, and I do wear it. So we're pairing this black and white plaid with this striped black and white shirt. Now, the thing about stripe is that it's such a neutral. It is something that goes well with a lot of other things. So it's like it's not even fussing, as we can see. And just to add a little color, we're wearing the Zara um, Pink Mule. It's one of my favorites. Of course, you know by now. It's my favorite style of shoe. This pop of color is always so integral when you're doing something like a black and white shade print and this is what it looks like. However, just to show you, 
an upgrade to what we've been discussing in that we're doing two prints. I'm just going to add a third print with this. And the reason why I'm able to do so is because it is very difficult to spoil black and white. So I'm adding my one of my favorite uh, blazers from H&M as well. This is us doing three patterns. So this is Jingham stripes and plaid. Because it's in this black and white, it goes fairly well together. I don't know who can spoil a black and white. Now, one of the most important things to note when doing this mixing of patterns and colors and prints is that it's important for you to understand a little of color theory. So if you have something in the closet that you didn't see any similarities in today's video, look on your color wheel and see the colors that complement each other, the colors that sit beside each other, and you will get some ideas as to what will look really well paired together. That's just these, just a basic, so you can go in depth by looking into that um, online. So this is the outfit. Black and white all mixed together. It's a popular pattern. So we're going to do an outfit with um, polka dots and then we will conclude this video. Alright guys, so we are wearing our polka dot, which is such a girly pattern up that I fold under just to give a break between the fabrics. And because it's long sleeve and it's also long, I thought it would be nice to show a little skin just so that it's not so overwhelming. We have the larger pattern at the top, the smaller polka dots at the bottom, and a pop of color on our feet just to pull some interest to there as well. So you probably have two pieces of polka dot in your closet that you can do some form of testing with. I would love to see it if you do so. You know my social media, Adrina Darling. So I'd be glad to see any of these styles that you guys were able to recreate so, so that we can share ideas. So this is the final look. This top is from, this top is from New Look. Uh, my sister Terry got me this skirt, which I love, which I love and paired together i think they are dramatic and interesting let me show you how styled in its original way i don't like when when you know i don't like the style of design I don't remember what they call it when you're when you have here so scrunched up I don't like it and this is what it looks like as a complete piece it looks like a dress it's just a lot it would be perfect for church or for well some people wear this type of outfit different places as well I think it's cute it's demure and the color makes it fantastic there you go so that's it i want to thank you guys for coming today and for spending time with me while i show you different ways and tips to style patterns and prints if you have any suggestions as to how we could have improved any of the outfits i'd be glad to hear it in the comments bar below and please be sure to let me know which was your favorite piece if you had one if you have any suggestions for video ideas as well, please leave them in the comments bar below. Thank you so very much for stopping by today. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you like what you're seeing so far. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.